I just want to take a quick minute of your time and just say congratulations to the class of 2020. You will never know how important of a class you are until maybe tomorrow, a year, two years from now, or when you're all set in life, sitting back at home, watching TV with your family and kids after you have made all your dreams come true. Regardless where you are in life and that moment hits, I want you to know that graduates, class of 2020, regardless what phase you're in, you are one of our strongest and bravest and most important classes to have ever graduated. And with that, I send you nothing but blessings and congratulations. And I wrote a special message. So class of 2020, graduates, whether you went from elementary to middle, middle to high, high to college, and now college into this real world, or if you're taking it step by step, but you are a graduate of 2020, I took the time to write a special message to you. And I do really would hope that you would listen to it more than once and read between the lines that this message means so much because you, class of 2020, is such an important class that is going to shape not only tomorrow, a year from now, but the generations to come. Here you go. So to my class of 2020 graduates, if you know anything about the evil eye, the evil eye actually protects you from Let's use the term that this generation use, haters, trolls. In short, jealousy. It protects you from people that give you the evil eye. It protects you from people that gives you eyes. And those eyes are bad eyes. Sometimes, you know, you can even have your closest friends in your circle that say, hey, great job on that project, great job on that um, that drop, that beat you made or whatnot, you know. But they could mean and say it in good intentions, but they, when that individual states it, it could negatively affect you. Um, there's a lot to play on that and how it is done and how it's, you know, to approach this and explain the evil eye. But in general, I'm East Indian, as you guys have seen in my post. So we believe in all this stuff and it does stand true. And especially when you believe in something, it stands true. So this is just a little setup of a bunch of evil eyes. Um, it's an evil eye purse that I have never touched, brand new, taking it the, out for the first time as a prop. And as you can see, just some of my hundreds of evil eye bracelets in different colors to diversify the different colors because I know we have all races and cultures and nationalities, whatever, however you want to group it, graduating in the class of 2020, whether you're going from elementary to middle to middle to high to high to college and then out into the real world. This is... um a protection that I'm sending to all of you guys that should you guys ever face jealousy, hate from your own friends or strangers just because you are making moves and you will. When you are making moves and you are set and determined and have the willpower and you are making moves for your future, your present and your future, laying down the ground and you will, it'll always come with obstacles and those obstacles are usually people hating or talking about you because you are deciding to take a hold of your life and make something of it. You're not playing a victim of where you're from or who you, how you were raised or whatnot or how much money you have in your pocket. You are setting the stones for a better life and for your future. And with that, you will always face individuals and sometimes It'll be your closest friends. I've had to cut friends off from 10, 15 years due to the fact that 
I was making moves. I was the one treating, taking care of everyone. My home was the home that everybody came to and and used as a convenience. And I realized that I was just everybody's convenience factor because I had made it. I had put my life on that track where I didn't want to just be enough. I wanted to be ahead. I wanted to, you know, everything that I worked hard for to show. And I did it. And with that comes haters, comes fr- friends around you, you know, and you get to that certain age where you realize that only so many friends will actually be around, your true friends. By the time you're 35 to 40, you will probably have only a handful of friends that you can call your true friends. Everybody else are associates and individuals. And remember, people come into your life for uh, a season, a moment, a lesson to be learned. But at the end of the day, to my class of 2020, my graduates, this is just a pure, hey, I'm sending this your way for protection to protect you from any jealous eyes, jealous people, haters, anyone that is trying to stop your success or steer you in the wrong way. Do not be deterred. Do not stop. Do not stop doing what you're doing. You keep tracking. You keep moving forward. And in that, this message is for you. And if I can unlock this phone... So I put this message together for the class of 2020, and I hope you would um, listen to it more than once and, and, and listen to it very deeply because there's a lot of hidden messages within this, within this message, excuse me. And um, it, it, it can be deep in many ways if you paid attention to the words and what I'm trying to say because you guys are a very powerful class. You know, we know how 2020 started and where we are in 2020 currently. And um, that makes you one of the most strongest and bravest classes to ever graduate. And what you guys do from this moment going forward is going to impact many, many, many generations to come and generations that are currently in play. So with that being said, dear class of 2020, I send you all my dear graduates an abundance of blessings. Shall shall your path ahead be a bright one with God looking over you every step forward. As you enter into this new phase of life, shall you succeed in all you put forth. The world can See, you were robbed from the norm. From the norm, I'm sorry. I mean, let me just rephrase that because I, like I said, it's a raw and unedited channel. The world can see you were robbed from the norm of your walk across the stage, regardless of what phase you were in. We can see that you missed out on those last memorable occasions you long awaited. But 2020 also gave you, or gave your specific class a very valuable lesson that I think will matter more than anything you missed. What you might not see now, you will realize in the near future. It is something that is very strong and you will reflect on it. You lived through history. You were part of an awakening to the world. This lesson is so valuable because one day you will see and look back to understand how defining 2020 was. And you literally wrote and lived through the part of that history. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Go out there. Shape the world for a better one to come for those behind you and for you. Take that first step and not be scared. Aspire to be everything you always wanted to be, whether for the minute or for your life ahead. Do it. Do not say, I will do it tomorrow. 
as we know and should have learned from 2020 since it started, tomorrow is not promised, but now is. This very moment is. As we fight through this pandemic with uncertainty, as we fight through this revolution for justice and equality for all mankind, please do not give up on your dreams. Take all the precautions to stay safe and well, but do not give up on your dreams. Life has forever changed us, as we know all too well, that 2020 has showed us that virtual reality is the new norm. So with that said, start your future. Take those steps into the unknown to begin the process of all you want to be and all you deserve. Your hearts combined, you are strong and a brave strong and and a brave class. Stay unified and respect your brothers and sisters. Acknowledge instead of just walking on by. Look with a smile and hug with those eyes. The world is yours and there is a star for every one of your wishes. Go get it. Peace and love, Lotus Eyes Gypsy. And with that said, congratulations, class of 2020. May you get everything you wish for. Push forward, hustle, work hard, dream big. Or if you want to dream small and just live a comfortable life, but you still have to work for it to put it in place. Do it. Make it happen. M-I-H. You got this class of 2020. If anyone can make it through and make their dreams come true and do what they want and live the life that they want to the fullest, it's you. Class of 2020, you guys have faced enough challenges. Last year and especially 2020. You got this, guys. Congratulations, and I wish you the best. I wish you the best, and I send you protection. I send you God's blessings. Shall he look over you through everything that you're going to be faced with, go through, good or bad? Shall this protect you? God bless. Congratulations, class of 2020. Peace and love. Signing out. Motorcycle Gypsy.